Tonight, I'm reviewing the Ryobi biscuit joiner, and you really need to see what happened. First, though, let's start off with the unboxing. This is the first use of the Ryobi biscuit joiner and I'm going to be doing a 20 depth biscuit into a piece of black walnut. I just cut my first biscuit with the Ryobi biscuit joiner and while it cuts it deep and straight and tight, I did notice one thing on the angle of it. It looks like it's cutting it slightly higher on one side than the other and let me show you what I mean. On this side the dimension is almost exactly a half an inch, but on the other side the dimension looks more like an inch and one thirty second extra. So that means that there's an angle on this. You can kind of see a little bit. This distance here is half inch. This distance here is a half inch plus one thirty second. I'm going to take it apart and see if there's any adjustments we can make on the inside of this tool. Well, I've taken it apart here, trying to see if there's anything that I can adjust to make this angle correct. Make sure this comes out parallel, but it's looking like there's nothing. So this will be something that I'm returning to the store because it can't cut a straight biscuit. These slots, while they're tight, which means the blade is the right thickness, they're slightly angled. So the angle of this is what's messing up the joint. So when I put two of them together, even if I straighten this, even if I wiggle this, I still can't get it up all the way without really putting some force on it. And I think that's going to cause problems with my joint as I glue it up. And if you do a series of these in a line, then you're going to have a board that's going like this. So I'm going to take this back and I'm going to see if the problems with this particular tool, if this was a one-off or if it's a design flaw. I'm back now with a second Ryobi biscuit joiner. This is our test to see if our problem is with a manufacturing defect that happened on a one-off as they were fabricating the joiner or if it's a design flaw that's going to happen multiple times. So if we can get this one to come out good, then we'll keep it. If not, we're going to have to go for something more expensive. This is right out of the box, first cut it made. Biscuit feels pretty tight in here. So you can see, it's not going anywhere. That's similar to what we saw in the last one. Now we measure the height. So far, the dimensions look a whole lot better than the last one did. So I'm gonna do it on another board and then we'll put the two together and see what the alignment is or if there's any mismatch.
we have the pieces we just cut with this biscuit joiner. And when I put them together, let's see. Now that is how a biscuit joiner is supposed to look. That's what you're supposed to get. Totally flush, totally lined up. That looks like a nice straight joint. This is a 20 biscuit and this is a zero biscuit. We just tried the 20 and that one worked fine and kept it nice and level. But I'm gonna try the zero as well to make sure that there's no variation in these two. The zero biscuit fits in here pretty well, but that is pretty darn tight. If this happens with your biscuits, they're compressible, so you can actually squish them in a vise or with vice grips to try to squeeze them down and make them slide a little bit easier. When I put these two together with the zero biscuit, I have a little problem because it looks like it's not cutting the biscuit deep enough. I still have a gap on here. And even when I, when I tap it, it doesn't close that gap. So there's some adjustment you can do, some minor adjustment on this tool to get it to plunge a little bit deeper on the zero cuts. This one closes up a lot better. I can squeeze it so there's no gap there. Well, it looks like the first one I got of these had some sort of manufacturing defect, which means that during the build of this and the assembly of it, something was misaligned, something wasn't cut perfectly, and it was causing that angle. This one, however, is cutting them nice and level. So if you decide to go with this, make sure to test those things right up front. Test the angle, make sure it's cutting it perfectly parallel with the top of your board. And the other thing to test is if your slot is loose at all. If the blade in here has any sort of an angle on it, when it cuts in, then it's gonna make that slot wider, which means your biscuit will wobble when it's sitting in there. You want a nice tight slot for your biscuit. You don't want it so tight that you have to pull it out with pliers, but you want it tight enough that the biscuit won't wobble at all in the joint. Overall, I like the design of this. I like this fence system. I like the rack and pinion on it, which helps make sure that when you raise this fence up and down, that it stays parallel and you don't have one side going more than the other. I like the black sandpaper along this front edge. That helps you to maintain that grip with the board that you're pushing it into. This big handle on the front is really nice. Most of the other ones that I've seen in the industry do not have this large of a handle where you can put your hand right on the top of it. That's very convenient. In terms of the pistol grip on it, some people have trouble with this. They don't like it, but it seems to work fine for me. It's very comfortable. One thing that I have been impressed with is the dust collection. So the bag just pushes onto the end of it and I made those four biscuits right now and I didn't get hardly anything on the workbench and all the chips were contained in this bag. I didn't get anything that was stuck in the biscuit cut. It was all very clean. You may have to make some fine tuning adjustments for the depth of the cut, but fortunately this tool allows you to do that through the knobs on the end. I've now cut about 40 biscuits with this biscuit joiner and it's a great tool for light to medium duty work. I plan on using this as my primary biscuit joiner since I'm not making biscuits every day. I hope this review has been helpful and informative for you. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see all the latest projects I'm working on. And see you next time. <laughs>